good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And um. when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, B. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. Ooh. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen to you. Fine. Go off in a hop. Before he leaves. Oh. What do you want? You fucking called me. Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. Uh. I had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal. Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. For fuck's sake. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Holy! What the crap? A problem out of this. What, what the crap? Have you seen this place? What the crap? It's not that small. Oh. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust Why? Him. Why? He was keeping <laughs> Why would you do that? I don't even know. One mm. little thing. Talk about living in the do you past. Want to keep fighting oh. about that, or do you want to try to sort this out? Mm. All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of Why do you keep touching things? That's why I called. We'll I'm okay. I can't move any Okay. We need to talk to Big B. Can I touch anything Fine. else? If you want to talk, we'll talk. Apparently I can't touch nothing else. Why am I tapping things? This makes no sense. What about the side table? Oh, did you already check that? Oh, that was the that was a vase, a vase or whatever. Sorry, it's been a long night. <clears throat> oh, that's yeah. the other side. You know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. <sighs> I gotta say, your place? It looks uh expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. It's interesting why she has a lot Is of money, though. something about said that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? It won't. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it, if you can't give us certain assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that... We had nowhere else to turn, <clears throat> and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... I'm not gonna answer, obviously. Hello? Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Oh my god. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? 
Hey, and we can't I'm not come done to the yet. Phone right now, I should... So leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message oh, shit. one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can... Because <laughs> next time, I'm making a house call. I'm not going to say anything. The crooked man's going to get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? I, um, if, I, if they knew I was there, that would have been... If that guy knew I was there, that would be the big trouble. Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. <gasps> yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. <clears throat> Never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes. Fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And okay. I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place. I hear you get it limited questions to answer. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that, and it's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. <coughs> but I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. Ah! It is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. 
<laughs> this game just makes me have a heart attack. <laughs> Everything I say just... Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, I choice. I don't want to get her in trouble. I'll go to the butcher shop. I don't want to get her in trouble. the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. I just don't want to get her in trouble. Wait. They're my friends. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Oh, don't say that! Every time I do the right thing, it's the wrong thing! <laughs> Did he say him? I don't even notice. Hopefully it won't be the wrong thing. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared! <laughs> Stop smoking. Might as well obey the signs, otherwise I'll cause disturbances. I'll just do it on the floor, that's fine. <laughs> what up, Freezer? Well, they obviously haven't fucking put it all back in again. Lazy bastards. They should always restock their shelves, that's how it works. Otherwise it looks like... messy. That. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Or he's got no supplies, because he's a lazy boss and he can't afford the right. price. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Ugh. Who'd want to eat this? What's wrong with this guy? He's clearly not. He's clearly got the. Will you walk faster, Big B? Jesus fucking Christ! I'm not gonna ring the bell. Fuck that. Oh. Maybe you should have. Big B Wolf. <clears throat> well, welcome, <laughs> Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um. Let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's uh let's see what we got here. It's all Flank frozen. steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin. I'm not going to say any names. Roast. Johan. I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? I'm not going to say a beast's name. I'm just <laughs> I'm going to try and avoid it if I can. <clears throat> oh, dear, good. What you see is <laughs> what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh... We do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. And what if I do find something here? Because if you haven't been straight with me... Really, Sheriff? You won't. We'll see about that. I... Sheriff, I... Yes, I did hear that. It's my phone. Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just got to go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Uh, no, fuck off phone. I'm sorry, dude, but I'm going to have to look. This is just bullshit now. Shit. Where is he? Piece of crap. Oh good, this is gonna be fun. Dude, I'm not fucking stupid, yeah? If he comes at me wielding around a goddamn axe or a fucking chainsaw, I'm gonna be pissed. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a mess back here. Relax, <laughs> Johan. I just wanna talk. That dog needs to stop barking at the door. I can't pause this. I'm sorry, this. Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. <clears throat> Where is he? Come on, damn it. For 
Such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. What's he waiting? He's gonna stab me or something. He's waiting for me to come near him so I can stab him. I mean, he can stab me. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. Is it Mary? It's bloody Mary, <laughs> isn't it? He's gonna get me killed. Urgh. Things I do. Huh? What are you doing? Please, please, big me. Please don't. Big me? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or <laughs> lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got down a hook in the deep freeze. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. <laughs> the crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. You do want to talk about the real butcher? It's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would... Shh. I really want to see what's behind there. I'm sorry, dude, but fuck you right now. Middle finger to you because I need to see what's back here. <sighs> I'm tired of being nice to people when I need to do these things. There's only so much you can do. What? The fuck? Not expecting that. Is this? Ah, I was expecting human corpses! Honestly, I kind of was. <laughs> <laughs> But then that'd be too common for Bloody Mary. Black forest soil, swine snout, nosebleed. What was she keeping in here? What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. <clears throat> oh, oh, it's those things again. So this is what Beast yeah. was delivering. Glamorous. Glamours. Yeah. And other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Hmm. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-Bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. So it's James, who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Hmm. What is he doing to people? This is sick. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? With 
With all these raw materials, it looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. And slave labor to work it. Oh, God. So <coughs> these must be the orders. Oh, shit. He's got his hooks into everybody, and it's pretty clear how. Oh, yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's... He's enslaving fables. On my watch, people just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. The mirror. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah. And he fix the mirror. Stuff like that mirror. I'm yep. surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. I'm this guy's useful. If I trade, I'm treating him nice. They probably took Crane there too. But I needed to come here to see what all this shit was. If I can find the mirror piece, I needed to know what was going on here. Find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Do you really think this is going to be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon. His symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. There's no way to get out of this. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take him down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. I have to take the fuckers down. For everybody's sake now, it seems. Yep. You... This guy gave me information about where to take the magic place. So... It's useful. I have to show that I do care about... about my people, I really do. It's, it's basically being a king here. <laughs>